Hey guys, welcome back. OnePlus is rolling out public beta Android 9.0 that is Android Pie for OnePlus 3 and 3T, which is based on Hydrogen OS 9.0. Installation process is quite easy, you just need to download the file based on your device that is OnePlus 3 or 3T. Then you can place it inside the internal storage. Do not place it inside any folder. Once you are done with that, just go to settings, system update. Tap the gear icon towards the right top corner, select local upgrade and choose the file. Upgrade process should start immediately and if you guys are rooted then also you can flash it using TWRP recovery. So they have already made an announcement on their OnePlus forum that is OnePlus Chinese forum where they have also mentioned the changelogs related to Android Pie. Along with the change logs, they have also mentioned the update methods. And they also say upgrading this version will receive stable versions of OTA update. So you don't have to worry about OTA updates if you are running Hydrogen OS which is 9.0. In future, you will surely receive OTA updates based on Hydrogen OS. And the entire process of installation will take around 3 to 4 minutes. So I've already updated. Let me show you the software information by going to settings, about phone. Here you can see Android version is Android 9.0. Hydrogen OS version is 9.0. Under Android version, we have security patch of 1st April 2019 and the build date is 31st March. Now directly taking a look at the change logs, what they have mentioned on their official forum. So these are the change logs which are related to system, do not disturb mode and gaming mode. First one which is related to system which says updated to Android P version that is Android Pie which I have already shown you, brand new UI design, more details etc. So here we have the brand new UI for OnePlus 3 and 3T. As you can see this is your quick settings panel, this is your recent panel. We have new volume panel along with the new power menu. Other than this there are lots of changes what they have done, you guys can check that out. The room is buttery smooth, I did not find any kind of issues, everything is working fine including old services. This is your settings menu. Here camera version is also upgraded to the latest one which is now 3.0.30. But nothing new features have been added here. And the leak build what we have of Oxygen OS 9.0, many people have been complaining about call recording. But with this build, there are no issues with the call recording also, so you can directly record the calls. I haven't faced any kind of issues related to call recording. Gallery app have been updated. Now we have new gallery. Launcher is also updated. Now the launcher version over here is 3.2.0. Last change log under system is Android security patch has been updated to 1st April 2019. So this is the latest security patch for OnePlus 3 and 3T. Moving on to the next change log which is related to do not disturb mode. More powerful do not disturb mode, do not disturb behavior and time are defined by you. So here you can totally customize the do not disturb mode that can be found inside settings. Sounds you have this option which is called as do not disturb mode. So here you can turn it on. You can also change the behavior of notifications. There are few exceptions related to calls, messages and other sounds. And if you also want to set a custom time for do not disturb that can be done from here. And now moving on to the last change log which is related to gaming mode. And now gaming mode has been updated to version 3.0 which says new upgrade notification reminder is lighter. 3 way application call suspension reminder helps you immerse the game and do not miss important information. So gaming mode can be found inside settings, utilities. So here we have options like answer call via speaker. If you are playing any game you can just enable this and you can directly receive the call via speaker. Then we have option to show notification. So here we have three options in which notifications will be displayed while playing game or when gaming mode has been enabled. One is head up. Next is only text or else you can completely block the notifications. You can also enable notifications for third party calls. Lock buttons is a good option which was not previously available on OnePlus 3 and 3T devices. Then you also have option to disable automatic brightness. So guys these are the complete changes what they have mentioned on their official forum that is Chinese forum where we have this hydrogen OS available. 
so guys there are many other changes done with android pi you guys can install this and check it out and trust me this is completely stable i did not find any kind of issues till now wherein hydrogen os does not include google app package so you need to install it manually here i have used google installer version 3 link will be given in the description below and i have everything working all my contacts are properly synced google services works fine no issues here so if you guys want to have a taste of android pi which is hydrogen os 9.0 then you can right away install it but my recommendation is make a clean installation for better performance now let's take a look at the benchmark results using geekbench application and antutu bench application with geekbench application single core have scored 1650 wherein multi core have scored 3704 and with antutu benchmark application device have scored 150308 so guys this was all about hydrogen os 9.0 if you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you're new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day